see the expression is exactly copied. I would recommend you to try this on your own machine as well. Hello everyone. Today I am excited to introduce you to the most powerful and realistic deep fake tool I have come across. This tool allows you to animate a single photo by using any video of someone talking. It's incredibly powerful because not only can it make the photo speak but it also handles tricky expression exceptionally well. This tool called Live Portrait is one of the few that can animate a photo with complex expressions and the best part it's free and open source. You can download and run it locally on your computer and I will show you how later in the video. This tool is developed by the team at Kai Shaw, the same company behind some of the best AI video generators available today. Live Portrait is a remarkable tool. You simply input a video of someone moving their face and then use any photo of another person. This tool maps the video's expression onto the photo. It works not only with realistic photos but also with black and white images of famous people, oil paintings and even fictional statues. Since Live Portrait is free and open source, you can use any photo without any restrictions. Unlike other closed source tools that prevent you from uploading images of famous people, Live Portrait lets you do whatever you want. It can even animate multiple faces in a single painting or photo, handling tricky expression with ease. No other face animator tool I have seen does this as consistently. Here's an example. The tool animates faces in a way that looks very natural without any deformations or distortions along the edges. You can see a person opening their mouth wide and the animation remains smooth and realistic. It also works with Pixar-like characters and watercolor drawings seamlessly animating even non-realistic photos. For photos with multiple people like a family portrait, all the faces will track the expressions from the original source video. The consistency is impressive even with exaggerated expressions or synchronized head movements. Right? This has great creative potential especially for projects where you want to animate characters in a video. You can also animate videos not just photos. For example, you can map the expressions from a driving video onto a source video of someone. This tool retains the moment of the source video while adding expression uh, from the driving video, right? Imagine making a baby blink or having someone talk while dancing. The possibilities are endless. There are various settings you can adjust such as controlling how, how much wide the eyes you want to open or mouth. Uh, you can even generalize the tool to animals animating a cat, dog or even stuffed animals using human expressions. Live Portraits developers have released a research paper detailing the architecture and methodology behind the tool which I will link in the description below. Now let's jump in and test this out. Before continuing with the installation, we need to make sure that the version control software Git is installed on your machine to clone the repo. All you need to do here is go to Google and search Git. I'll provide the link to the official Git download page in the description of this video. Alright, from here, just click on the downloads and then click on the operating system which you are using. I'm using Windows here so I'll download it. You can skip this step if Git is already installed on your machine. I will skip from here as I already have it. The next step is we need to install Miniconda which is the minimalist version of Anaconda. This is to avoid the vast array of packages that are pre-installed with Anaconda while Miniconda only includes Conda and Python. Alright, this is the official Anaconda documentation page. Again, I'll provide the link in the description of this video. All you need to do here is scroll down to the section latest Miniconda installer links and select Miniconda Windows 64 bit to download or select according to the type of your operating system. Wait for the download to finish. Alright, open the installation file. This is pretty straightforward. Just click on next and accept license agreements. Click on install for all users and here select your directory path where you want to install it. In my case, I am installing it to C drive. You need to check clear package cache upon completion. This is to recover the space. Click on install. Alright, this will take some time according to the specification of your hardware. 
okay in the next screen click on finish you can check these two options if you want to know more about getting started with miniconda the next step is to open the terminal navigate to one of your storage partitions and in the address bar type cmd i am choosing the storage partition directly here just to simplify it you can create a new folder anywhere in your system and open command prompt from that folder right now we need to clone the live portrait repo in your system to do that you need to go to the live portrait github page copy this line paste it into the command prompt hit enter and the repo will start downloading to your system this will take some time according to the internet speed after completion you will be able to see the live portrait folder containing all the repo files in your system now you need to type cd live portrait or you can copy this exact same command from github repo and paste it in your terminal and hit enter you will navigate to the live portrait folder now you need to create a conda virtual environment to avoid any dependency conflicts right in simpler terms this is to isolate the installed packages of different tools so to do that we need to copy this command in the terminal you might encounter an error like this conda is not recognized as internal or external command this means your mini conda is not included in windows path variables to add this to your windows path variables you need to go to the start menu and search for advanced system settings click on view advanced system settings and a dialog will be opened like this here you need to click on environment variables here and another dialog will be opened select the path variables and click edit you can now double click on the row or click new button to add a new environment variable now you need to get the path of your miniconda navigate to miniconda installation folder in my case it is in c drive program data and miniconda in this folder you need the path of script folder if i open the script folder inside that folder you can see different scripts and executable files just go back and right click on the script folder and click on copy as path paste this value in your windows environment variable dialog just remove the code from the start and the end and then click ok click ok here and then here as well all right now you need to close and then open the terminal again in the live portrait folder okay you know the drill just go to the live portrait folder and type cmd in the address bar and hit enter it will open the terminal again just write a command conda hyphen hyphen version and hit enter it will show you the current conda version now we need to go to the github repo again and copy this command to create a conda virtual environment right so i'm gonna paste it right here and hit enter okay um, it will ask you to proceed and press y and hit enter now it will install some necessary packages for the environment it will take some time depending on your internet speed and hardware specifications okay the virtual environment is now created now you need to activate this environment just go to github repo again and copy this command and paste in in your terminal to activate the virtual environment okay here you may see an error run conda init before conda activate just write this command before activating the environment like i will write conda init and press enter after this you need to close the terminal so the change take effect and open it again in the live portrait folder so i close this and open my live portrait folder and again in the address bar i write cmd to open the command prompt again now conda activate live portrait as you can see live portrait is written in the parentheses this means the virtual environment is now activated right so the next step is to install the requirements so the requirements file is available in the repo and these are the requirements or dependencies of uh, live portrait and if you can open and see all the required packages like torch open cv numpy and other are mentioned here with the versions all right just go back and copy this command and paste it in the terminal to install the requirements as you can see the size of this package is 2.7 gigabytes and it will take some time depending on your network speed right okay let's wait for the packages to install 
All right, the packages are now installed completely. Now the next step is to download the pre-trained weights. And you can see the directory structure is also mentioned here. So we have Google Drive or Baidu here. I will go for Google Drive and open this link in the new tab. Here we have two folders, Insight Face and Live Portrait. We need to download both of these folders. So I will click on the, so I will click on three dots and click download. The Google Drive first zip the folder and then download it. As you can see here in the bottom right corner, so now I will do the same for live portrait folder as well. The size of this folder is a bit large and will take some time in zipping and downloading. So you need to bear with it. All right, after downloading, we need to unzip these folders and place them in pre-trained weights folder that is located in live portrait repo, right? And uh, we need to follow the directory structures, right? So let me place this zip files in live portrait folder i just copied them from my downloads folder and in the live portrait folder i will create a new folder as zip weights and uh, place the zip files in it right then we need to unzip them so i will right click on it and then select extract all to unzip and we don't need to create any extra folders as the directory structure is already maintained in the zip files so I will just copy this inside face folder completely and paste it in the pre-trained weights folder. I will just verify if the folder structure is correct. Right. So just wait for a second here. Yep. So all right. Let me do the same with the live portrait weights. Extract here all and uh, verify the directory structure and copy the live portrait folder to paste it in the pre-trained weights folder. Okay. Now this is all done. Now we need to run this and according to the instruction mentioned, we need to run the inference.py and an animation like the below will be created in the animation folder. So I will just copy and paste this command in the command prompt and uh, let's wait for it to complete, right? So it is completed. If we navigate to this folder, we should see an animation here. Okay, if I go to my live portrait folder animation and here is the animation video that is that was created by inference.py so if i play it um it animated the statue with the expressions in the driving video right this is amazing okay so now let's start the gradio interface now i will go to github repo and copy and paste this command in the terminal and hit enter this is python app.py command and in windows it may ask you to allow python to make changes to this device just click on allow it will generate a live gradio link for you to see here um i could not able to see the live link you might be able to see that but some of you might encounter this during your installation or accessing the gradio live link if so, then you need to go to the Windows security from the taskbar located in bottom right corner and open it by double clicking and then click on review under the app and browser control. Here you can see a warning icon here and uh, click to expand this and you will see affected items in the Conda environment. So click on actions and in the drop down menu, click on allow on device, right? After doing that, you need to kill the current process and uh, for doing that in terminal, you just need to hit control C on your keyboard and the current process will be killed. And uh, again, you need to paste python app.py and uh, hit enter and wait for gradual live link, right? All right, it is generated the live link and you can access this by pressing control and click. This will open this live portrait interface as you can see. The installation is now completed and now let's start with some examples that are already available with the live portrait folder. We need to click on the upload here and we'll use the out of the box example videos that are available with live portrait. Uh, let me go to the live portrait folder and uh, then assets and in the example folder uh, you will see driving and source. These two folders are contain different examples. Open the driving folder and select a video from here. Uh, let's select this one and uh, now upload the image on which you want to copy the expressions of this video. 
these are available under the source folder uh, let's select this famous mona lisa painting and click animate wait for some seconds and the output video is available let me play this and see what is it look like okay wow this is amazing the expressions are perfectly copied to the painting isn't that impressive right let me play the comparison video here as well that is amazing uh, let me take another example let me upload uh, another file here as a driving video uh, i will select this guy as driving video and let me select this beautiful lady i believe this is lady diana as a source image let me play it once for you and let's let's click on animate and see how it looked like wait for some time and here is that for video as you can see this copied the same expressions of the driving video uh, let me play this comparison video as well this is amazing i would recommend you to try this on your own machine as well okay let me try another example let me select the driving video so let's try this one okay now select this image this time the source image is not from the live portrait i have downloaded it from a famous cartoon movie um, i could not recall the name exactly but let's use this let me first play this video for you and now let's click animate okay wait for the output video okay let me play the video here the results are mind blowing for this video right let me play the comparison videos as well as you can see the expression is exactly copied to the this animated uh, girl image and uh, if i can say it the the portrait is now live according to the name right so that's amazing okay here is another example let me select this video as source video i have selected this guy with beard and the source image as black and white photo uh, let me first play this driving video once for you all right click on animate and here is the output video let me play that so as you can see the results are just amazing this can also work perfectly on black and white photos as well there is another feature of this tool that is retargeting this means you can specify how much eyes or the list should be open so let me drag both of these to the end and i believe the output will be horrible for this image let's see oh yeah this is like some nightmare image let's drag back to the normal and uh, this is to show you how you can control this as well right let's take another example all right in this driving video on the right side i can play it uh, you can see the woman is blinking her eyes right and i want to copy her expression onto this animated boy's portrait so click animate and wait for some time to see the output video okay this is the output video let me play this and okay you can see the expressions on this photo are copied and again if the eyes are not completely closed you can again uh, control that uh, through retargeting and uh, that can be controlled with that that's it for now and if you learned something new from this video hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to ai brain box see you next time